We're getting busy on the C10 today. Um, this is the issue. Okay, first let's 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 backtrack. This is what uh, the owner of the truck had bought me. So I believe this is off of Astro Van uh, Hydro Boost. He wanted to convert over to a Hydro Boost. This is a 70 C10, but I think it's the same from 67 to 72. And maybe even previous than that, 64 to 66. But don't quote me on that. I know 67 to 72 should be pretty much the same procedure. Okay, so we took off the old uh, uh, regular manual brake booster. And what we had here with this one, the problem is, you see how this plate is flat? The plate is flat, and then you have this locking or retaining nut that's on the back of the actual master uh, booster. Okay, so that retaining nut holds the uh, booster to the plate and then the plate as you see I drill extra holes uh, bolts to the firewall but the hole for where the uh, um, booster goes to the firewall is actually smaller than this nut here so that means you would have to dremel the hole out some some kind of way enlarge the hole the hole is already uh, like one point I think it's eight inches and it needs to go out to like 2.1 or whatever. So you can see there's the hole there. Okay, so this one came, this master, this uh, brake booster right here came off of uh, C30, 80s C30, 86 exactly. So what this one came out of, but it should be the same for all of the 80s models. So basically this plate, if I come around like this, you can see has a, um, like a recess in it and it affords the actual nut to sit inside the recess so basically the size of the master going through the wall it wouldn't have to be opened up you wouldn't have to modify the wall and if you ever needed to buy another master cylinder or i mean a brake booster you could buy it you take the it's a c a e clip on the back i'll actually take it down and show you guys here but before i take it down let me show you it was two studs sticking through those holes right there that's serrated the middle hole so you got the bottom hole the middle hole and the top hole just take a hammer knock those two nuts out when you knock those two well bolts out it lines right up on both sides this side and the other side the problem is the top bolt holes here don't match up so you have to drill those out which I've marked with a paint pen and then the bottom holes here uh, won't match but you will have four holes just like it was from factory retaining holding this plate to the firewall holding this whole master to the firewall master and brake booster and then the lower part of the bracket you just trim that off uh, easy peasy simple and it works and I mean you could go to the parts store unbolt this whole assembly with the four bolts these two once I drill them out and these two here and take this off take the bracket off and then order a new master, put your new, uh, I mean a new booster, put your new booster on there, put it back on the firewall, and everything would be the same, no problem. The other thing is, on this one, look how long this rod is. So the rod on the old power, uh, I mean uh, the old uh, manual brake booster was long. Look at the one that's on the Astro. Look how short it is. So basically, if you use this brake booster here, you would have to cut this rod, extend this rod to the right spot, weld it back together, when really all you have to do with this rod is weld a small uh, uh, tab onto the brake pedal with a hole drilled in it and done. So drill these two holes, trim down here, weld the tab, and you're done. So I'm going to try to make some videos of more progress on it but that's kind of where we are uh, with the C10 with the brakes and hopefully we can get that done here in the next day or so